Well, I'm Ryan Zarama, uh, the CEO of Commerce Guys from Greenville, South Carolina. And I came to Drupal Camp London this year to be the keynote speaker, uh, talking about doing well and doing good. My career began uh, with Drupal 4.5 and has continued since then. But what keeps me in Drupal are the people, the relationships that I've built. Um, as a developer and a geek, the flexibility and the control that I have over the application and the final product. Um, and also just like as a, as a creature of habit, I think developing habits and using tools that are familiar makes you more productive quicker. And I find that when I use Drupal, I do achieve productivity much faster than when I, when I try to use other systems or new languages or new tools. And everything is new in commerce for Drupal 8. Uh, the reality is that, that Drupal 8 required us to rewrite every bit of code that we had in Drupal 7. Uh, it is all oriented around, you know, object-oriented PHP and everything that is native to Drupal 8. Like, just as Drupal Commerce for Drupal 7 was a complete rewrite of Ubercart to be native to the field system and entity API and rules and views of the time, Drupal Commerce 2 is now completely redeveloped around uh, you know, the new types of entities and systems that we have in core. Uh, so when you think about just functionality, because the entity system is more robust in Drupal 8, we have more of them. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you now have the ability to have multiple stores, multiple checkout flows, different types of order management capabilities, like a lot more capable out of the box, but also uh, we've learned a lot since we developed Commerce 1. So we've made uh, the out of the box experience for Commerce 2 more opinionated in ways. Uh, so that the checkout flow should actually feel very familiar to people who have purchased from Shopify or other hosted e-commerce applications. And uh, we, we've tried to kind of just take that kind of paradigmatic, opinionated approach to a variety of things, both the front end and the back end, again, in pursuit of increased productivity for developers. We have begun actually managing the project against a roadmap that sees minor releases on a monthly basis. And that's going to cover your core maintenance tasks. And then we really set these development initiatives around major contributed module ecosystems within commerce. So first that looked like fleshing out our payment gateway support. Then it looked like commerce shipping funded by Adapt and other um, contributors from the community. Then it looked like commerce recurring in those modules as funded by Torchbox and others. And now we've set our sights on reporting analytics. Um, so really trying to take a lot of the guesswork and the pain out of implementing sales dashboards and reports and analytics for end users. Um, and then we have kind of a, a three-pronged strategy there that I actually talked about here at Drupal Camp, uh, where it's commerce reports for on-site reporting, of course, better Google Analytics integration and integration with other third-party tools, and then our own sales dashboard called Lean Commerce Reports, which is a plug-and-play SaaS dashboard that you can just drop into the back end of Drupal Commerce. And again, the, the idea here is to take a lot of the busy work out of launching a commerce site so that every single Drupal commerce developer doesn't have to go and try to re-implement the same dashboard with views and then hopefully keep it up to date over time. Um, so, you know, it's, it's anything that really increases productivity and removes that kind of busy work will find its way on our roadmap. I would say find us, reach out, let us know that you're interested in contributing because we dedicate you know, two people on our team out of eight to just contributing to Drupal and mentoring and training other people who want to be involved. Uh, Boyan Shivanovich is the uh, maintainer and lead developer for Commerce2.x and via you know, Twitter, Slack, IRC, um, events around Europe and some in the US, he's a very active mentor and very capable mentor to help people get involved and learn. Um, and so is Matt Glomman, who is on our team as a co-maintainer for Commerce2.x. He's very active in Drupal Slack. We're all very active in Stack Overflow. And Matt even participated in the Drupal Easy uh, apprenticeship program to mentor a woman named Lisa Streeter, who's now contributing to Commerce in a big way and has recently joined our team. So, you know, come in, reach out, let us know you're there, and we are more than happy to get anybody and everybody plugged in. Uh, so I actually delivered a presentation at DrupalCon Vienna on marketing and selling the Drupal Commerce ecosystem to help people understand where we see Drupal Commerce positioned against its primary competitors. 
And I'm not even sure if we're on these competitors' radar, but we identify them as Shopify, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, and Magento. And if you go to IRCE, which is the Internet Retailer Convention and Expo in Chicago once a year, you can see just how massive these projects are and how massive their communities are and just how many millions and millions of dollars are being invested in these projects. We're much smaller, obviously. We're a community-driven project. Commerce guys develops and maintains it, but even we only have you know, two full-time people really assigned to, to contributing and then everybody else on the team working on it one day a week or in their spare time. And so like, we, we can't really compete on the full breadth of features. And so we often tell people, like, if, if you're going to be happy paying Shopify $40 a month, and adjusting your business requirements to fit their template, you should probably do it because the same kind of person who's going to be happy paying that is not going to be happy paying any Drupal agency really to develop a custom e-commerce solution. Um, I think it's a little bit trickier at the high end, so Magento, where Magento's main appeal is really the complete ecosystem. They have end-to-end -end tools and integrations uh, to support any size enterprise. And Drupal Commerce is getting there. We do have a lot of integrations for, for SMBs at the small, medium-sized business level. But you know, if, if you're a bigger business that needs an already integrated fulfillment management system or PIM or whatever else, like, we just don't have as many options for you. And so again, like organizations choose Magento for ecosystem as much as they do for the software, probably more than they do so for the software itself. And then everything else kind of falls somewhere in between. And so for Drupal Commerce, uh, we really still see it as, as like the platform that really empowers truly flexible e-commerce in the sense that you can make Drupal be whatever you want it to be, again, if you have enough time and or money. However, I don't think that flexibility really sells. It's not a selling point to a merchant because a merchant doesn't really care how flexible the platform is. They care whether or not it does the job they need it to do and fits within their budget. Um, so I, I don't tend to tout flexibility. I do. Um, look to position it as like the tool for teams who are tasked already with developing custom e-commerce e software to accelerate and make their, their task more productive and, and faster to market, faster to iterate on and so on. Um, but but it's, it's hard to really know like how to position us in the competitive landscape uh, beyond just playing to our strengths, right? We're the only e-commerce system that is a native extension of a content management system. Magento basically threw their hands up and said, well, we, we don't understand content management, so let's have a relationship with Acquia to, to partner with them on Drupal integrations and with Automatic to partner with them on WordPress integrations and to partner with Adobe on AEM integrations. And so like, they've thrown their hands up so we can actually beat them when it comes to unique content marketing and customer experience um, development. And, and you can look at some of our case studies like um, uh, Sport Obermeyer. This was a project that Blue Spark developed and we contributed to the project as just their senior development assistants, if you will, and architecture consultants. And they built a completely custom shopping experience for this winter sports apparel company that lets you kind of have like a, a mannequin style in-store shopping experience on a website where you can browse full outfits and manage them and add them to the cart and buy them directly or find your favorite retailer. And this whole experience that, that is much harder to accomplish using other softwares. And, and the other problem with other software too is that maybe they have the same customizability or flexibility and support, but they may also have a twenty to six hundred thousand dollar license that you're paying on top of the actual value that you want out of it, which is that custom user experience. The other thing that, that Drupal is really good at is digital asset management and permissions. And so if you think about the, the whole scope of what e-commerce entails, I think a lot of people naturally gravitate toward retail or direct to consumer brands. Um, but I honestly don't try to really highlight those cases, although they are valuable and drive a lot of investment in the project. Um, I actually really focus on, well, what about subscription management services? What about software as a service? How about file downloads and private content access? These are all portions of e-commerce that are underserved by other platforms. And again, they're part of our native strength because as a content management system with robust roles and permissions and file access, we have the ability to deliver solutions in these in these like verticals that nobody else can. Um, so I, I, I want to play toward our strengths, acknowledging that we will get there over time in the retail and direct consumer brand space. Um, but a, like an honest gap analysis would show us as the clear laggers and these other platforms as the clear leaders. Um, so really try to play to our strengths while working toward improving those areas.
I, Drupal Camp London for me has been affirming. I came here, kind of poured my, ho- my heart out uh, on the stage this morning and have only received affirmation and encouragement as a result. And I'm, and I'm very appreciative for that from the crowd here.